Asteroid mining is a trending topic among aerospace engineers and entrepreneurs, but the return on investment and logistics seem hard to imagine. So the question is, are asteroids really worth it? Wow, look at this place. Yeah, thanks for meeting me here. Oh yeah, this is great being here, great day. Professor Gallimore, why has asteroid mining <laughs> attracted so much attention? And that is, why would anyone want to mine an asteroid? Well, uh, there are a lot of asteroids out there, first of all. Uh, some estimates put over a million asteroids in our solar system. Uh, a set of those, which are called near-Earth asteroids, maybe 1,000 or 2,000 of them or so, and they contain a lot of stuff. They contain, for example, rare Earth minerals like platinum. They contain a lot of iron, and they contain water. And water is very important because water, which is composed of hydrogen oxygen, is stuff that we need if we want to live in space. So of course we need water to drink, we need the oxygen to breathe, but the hydrogen and oxygen are really good propellants for rocket propulsion systems. So there's interest not only in bringing, let's say, the material from the asteroids down to Earth, but actually using that material to live off the land, if you will, as a way of enhancing our presence in space. How will engineers and scientists identify the right kinds of asteroids to mine? Well, it's great that we're here because people use telescopes, among other things, ground-based and space-based telescopes. They look at the light coming off of these asteroids and they can determine from the composition of the light what's on the surface, what kind of material is on the surface. And then they can identify the various mil minerals and elements associated with the light that's coming off, sort of the signature, like a, like a thumbprint or a fingerprint coming off of it. What do you see as the biggest benefit to asteroid mining? Uh, it costs thousands of dollars per kilogram to put anything into space. And so if we can use the material that's already out in space to build uh, the various structures, to fuel the various rockets and the propulsion systems we need, it'll just make access to space that much easier. The other thing is that if you were to take uh, a, a large asteroid one mile in diameter or so, there are estimates that that asteroid would contain all the exotic material and metals that humanity would need for 100,000 years or so. And so there's a benefit of possibly going and extracting material from asteroids that we can reach easily and even bringing them back to the Earth. It might even be an economic benefit. The process and the investment in mining an asteroid just seem hard to imagine. Do you think it's worth it? Yeah, I do. I do. Um, if we go back in history, I'm sure people ask the same sort of questions about exploring different parts of our planet. And I think uh, one can argue that it was worthwhile then. And I think we're having a same sort of argument that it's easy to think about our own problems that we have here. But if we think long term about where we want to go as a species, it's inevitable to me. I think space is, is where we want to go at some point. And I think if we want to go to space, and we have to talk about mining the asteroids to help us get there. It's certainly not going to be easy or cheap, but the rewards sound like they're worth the effort. And we may be asteroid mining sooner than you think. <laughs>